Juro fidelidad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación al amparo de Dios, indivisible con libertad y justicia para todos. I think they'll definitely be ready for it. It's very inquiry based, so it's going to get them really excited about their learning. So not only are we going to be teaching our curriculum, but they're going to help us develop the curriculum too with their questions and the things that they want to study. I think the teachers, they really care about us and they spend a lot of time trying to make good projects and stuff for us to do while we're in class. So they're really good. Well, because the um, curriculum is strenuous, it will allow us to further our work as a team and definitely start to plan things around the curriculum that are outside the box, so to speak. It's that um, critical thinking, um, being asking questions about your world, that worldview approach. It's going to be rigorous, but I think it's going to be a really fun, hands-on approach to learning for these kids. And they give me a problem and see if I can figure it out before they tell me, here's how to do it, and do this, do that, and stuff like that. I think they're ready to take a step ahead. Some things will be new to them, but we've already started this year because we've already completed one unit, and so we kind of have that experience of kind of knowing, you know, how we need to move into the next units to move a little bit further on. So I think they are ready for it. They're up for the challenge. It'll be, look at how this relates to this, and then once they see those connections and everything, uh, you know, they'll become their own teachers and they'll be leading one another. If the environment is in place that we only expect children to excel, they're going to live up to it. They're going to live what we expect. Then the next step is to provide a learning environment that is, is conducive to learning throughout the day which means that music is as important as reading. Reading is as important as math. Finding out what's going on abroad in China, um, Europe, is just as important as what's happening right here in your neighborhood. Egypt, it's very interesting. I wanna learn how to read hieroglyphics and I wanna know everything about the pyramids and the pharaohs. I have a personal stake in that because of where I'm from. I mean, I'm from Scotland and, and I've traveled a little bit and always thought that it was desperately important to, to see the world and try and understand what was going on. So I would like to go to Asia and I would like to also go to, um, actually I would like to go all around the world and study different cultures. That's what this whole program is about, getting them involved and making them world citizens and that's what we want for our children here. Spanish. I'm not completely fluent yet. I want to do French and Italian um, because I have French roots and I have Italian roots. I think that it will allow them to have a much um, broader perspective when it comes to our life. I said a lot of our children who come from this area, uh, they, they oftentimes don't see life outside of Church Hill, let alone Richmond. And so I think with this program, it'll definitely allow them to enhance their thought process as it relates to uh, the world as a whole. It will allow uh, the children to go ahead and have the opportunity to say, you know what, there's so much more to life and there's so much more that I can do. One, two, three. There are seven continents, continents, continents. There are seven continents and here they are. Africa, Asia, and Antarctica, Australia.